Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Got something kind of weird for you today. Today, we are going to be looking at Sonic Crackers. Yeah. <laughs> so what is Sonic Crackers? Well, if you are a Sonic fan, you've probably seen this one before. It is essentially an early prototype, or perhaps a product pitch, of what would eventually become Chaotix, or Knuckles Chaotix, on the uh, 32X. It is, in fact, not on the 32X, however, it's a Genesis or Mega Drive ROM. There's no physical cartridge of this game that exists, to my knowledge. This was leaked sometime in, uh, I think, the mid-90s. The I don't remember exactly when, but I remember seeing it sometime around that point. The actual build date on the uh, ROM, on the title screen, says April 1st of 1994, which, funnily enough, led some people to believe that it was an April Fool's joke, which... I mean, looking at this, you wouldn't necessarily blame them. By the way, did I mention that it's uh, an early prototype? You'll notice that the physics, maybe, need a little bit more work. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Although, I think pretty much all of us can look at that and go, yeah, but it's still better than the physics in Sonic 4. Anyways, yeah, this was leaked sometime in the mid, uh, mid-90s, I think. Um, I remember looking at it back then, and... What we're going to be doing today is taking a look at pretty much everything there is in this uh, demo. It's not going to be an incredibly long video because there's not too much to get through. There are basically four uh, attractions or stages. In Sonic Adventure terms, you would call them action stages, I guess. And two fields, uh, which could perhaps be called adventure stages or hub areas. Uh, there's not a lot to them. In fact, Spoiler alert, three of the levels are actually just this first level, but uh, how it swapped. Supposedly that was going to have something to do with a day-night cycle, which is eh, kind of an interesting idea. Uh, before we do move on, I will get into actually how this game plays and how you control it. Um, that track in the background, it's actually pretty good, right? It actually uh, did make its way into Knuckles Chaotix as one of the, uh, the main songs, so that's good, because it is a good track. Now the way that we beat this, and I'm putting beat in quotes, is we make our way to the very top of the stage, and then we get automatically killed. So the game takes pity on us, and uh, basically grants us the sweet embrace of death. Uh, so we will be attempting to do that three times here. Now if you've never played Knuckles Chaotix, which I have played it, but not a great deal. I mean, we are going to get to it at some point on the channel, because I'm trying to make it through all the Sonic games, or most of the Sonic games. Uh, but this looks kind of janky, right? I mean, it controls in the same basic way that Knuckles Chaotix does, just much more unfinished and buggy. Essentially, you've got Sonic and Tails connected by rings here, or a, a power, power cable, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the way that you actually gain speed and momentum here is by using the ring. By the way, before we talk more about that, the sub area. Don't the sprites here look nice? To my knowledge, these sprites were never actually used for anything else, which is kind of a shame. Anyway, stage two is uh, the obligatory carnival-esque level. This one you will find is much more unfinished than the previous one, and at a certain point, we're just gonna start falling through the floor and be uh, unable to progress. You can use the uh, the start menu, like debug mode-esque menu, to pull yourself back up. However, the level just loops infinitely, and uh, you won't be able to complete it. Fortunately, the game once again takes pity on you, and will just kill you after a certain amount of time. So, look forward to that. So yeah, all of the, uh, the movement is essentially based around gaining momentum from this uh, connection between the two characters. So the way that you do this is... There are three buttons, it being a Sega Genesis game. There's a jump button, as you might expect. And then there are two other buttons, one of which has Sonic stand in place, and one of which has Tails stand in place. And so what you do is you basically keep one character stationary, drag the other character all the way to extend the link, and then let go, and that character will start zooming forward. You can then let go of the other character, and they will start zooming forward, 
and if you get really good at it, you can sort of alternate which character is sitting still and just continue to get, uh, build momentum and like fling yourself into the air. Ooh, and uh, Tails, I think you've seen better days. This is where we say, pull yourself together, har har har. I don't know. Take a look at this hub world though, or uh, field. Doesn't that look cool? <laughs> like they did a good job for this little tech demo of like the uh, sprite and background designs. You know what it reminds me of actually is, uh, I think it was called Chrome Gadget from Sonic 3. It was one of those multiplayer stages. It's not exactly the same, but uh, very much reminds me of that. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, look at the sprites here. They did a good job with them, and again, I don't think those ever got used for anything. Speaking of not getting used for anything, we can't actually do anything in these uh, hub areas, other than press a button to get taken to another level. So here we are at uh, the third level. You will very quickly figure out that this is just the first level with a different palette. Again, supposed to be some kind of day-night cycle, maybe? Which is kind of a neat idea. Not sure exactly how that would have worked. Although I think that made its way into Knuckles Chaotix. Again, I'm not super knowledgeable about that game. So you'll notice that in addition to uh, keeping the character stationary, you can actually press a button to have Sonic pick up Tails and throw him. That on its own is not going to be supremely useful, other than just for getting him up to ledges like that. Yeah, there we go. See, like I said, you kind of get the hang of it um, after just a little bit. And I imagine, again, having not played a great deal of Knuckles Chaotix, uh, once I've practiced it enough, it'll show up on the channel. But after doing an entire playthrough of that, you'd probably be pretty proficient at it. By the way, I'm sure you've noticed that there are no sound effects on this version. And although you can get hit by the spikes, as we saw in uh, the previous version of this level, you will drop rings every time, but not actually die. The only way you can die is by, ironically, getting to the end of the stage or running out of time. So another thing that is actually kind of amusing is, uh, of course, this is a ROM that was leaked online. There's no, like, physical cartridge of this game that you can buy, nor can you play this on any sort of Sonic collection, which I don't expect that to ever happen. Um, but apparently, if you actually try to load this on a real Mega Drive or a Genesis, it actually will crash in various places, which is kind of funny. Apparently, like, if you stay on the title screen too long, or you uh, linger on the Sega screen, or even, you know, select certain levels, it'll just crash, which is kind of Kind of amusing. I mean, not super amusing, but kind of amusing anyway. There's also a two-player mode, which we will check out at the end. But uh, for now, I'm just going to try and make it to the top. There we go. Like I said, it's a little weird, but you get the hang of it. So, um... Let's see, I don't know exactly what button it is to access the next one. We might just have to go to the next stage and then restart, uh, which is fine. Yeah, we don't need to do this again. All right. So going back to Sonic Crackers, the name, um, what is up with that? By the way, most of these Although we have a lot of different uh, worlds and attractions listed, most of them either crash the game or are duplicates, so don't get too excited there. This is, in fact, the last actual level that's uh, in the game. Yeah, Sonic Crackers. So what the heck is with the name? Well, I remember when I was young, it kind of made sense, because it's like slang for, you know, crazy or insane. And looking at this, you could certainly say that it is crazy and or insane. However, there's actually a somewhat funnier and more logical uh, conclusion, and that is that it's actually a mistranslation. So, those of you who know anything about the Japanese language would know that there's no sort of differentiation between the L sound and the R sound in katakana, or in anything really. But uh, katakana is used for loan words, so 
you know, words that are in English or English, I guess, sometimes, will be in katakana. So, crackers is perhaps supposed to be clackers with an L, which is named after the toy, you know, the, the two balls connected by the string that you hit together? Which actually makes perfect sense, because that's exactly what we are here. We're like two balls connected by a string. Anyways, I think that's actually pretty funny. Um, unfortunately, that's all I have on that. <laughs> Nothing to elaborate on. But hey, I found it amusing. Uh, another thing is the ROM header, funnily enough, says Sonic Studium, which is probably supposed to be Stadium, uh, not like Sonic Educational Game. Oh, I almost had it that time. Come on, come on. We got this, we got this. Now, as you might imagine, I didn't spend a great amount of time doing practice runs of this little demo. Yeah, there we go. I would recommend just downloading it and checking it out for yourself. Um, doesn't take a whole lot of time to get through all the content, obviously, and you'll get a hang of uh, the movement relatively quickly. By the way, the easiest place to get it, I would think, would be probably Sonic Retro. They do have a copy there, and uh, that's where I did the majority of my research. And again, I put research in quotations there. All right, so that is actually everything. Um, again, we can kind of look through these, but uh, most of these are just going to instantly crash the game if we try to go to them. Like, let's just randomly pick one. Yeah. So unfortunately, that's about all the game has to offer, or the demo. However, there is a two-player mode, which we will briefly check out. Um, I don't have anybody else here with me today to subject them to this, but it's going to be pretty much impossible to make it through with one person because we're not able to keep Tails stationary as we would in a single player. Although I have my doubts about how uh, how doable it would be with two controllers even. Because <laughs> it's, yeah, it's jank. It is certainly jank. But we'll get as far as we can go and then probably just debug mode our way to the top. So that was pretty much Sonic Crackers, um, an interesting little piece of Sonic history. Definitely a little piece, you know, not too much to it, uh, but interesting to look at. You know, back in, uh, as I, I mentioned, you know, back when this came out, this kind of stuff was kind of a lot cooler in a lot of ways because it wasn't like knowledge that was readily available everywhere, or at least it didn't feel like it. But uh, yeah, still worth checking out. Give it a look. Uh, I will be uploading a non-commentated version, which I'm going to kind of cheat and call it a long play. You see, we've already gotten locked here. There's no way we can get up without doing that. Um, just because I am working on that playlist that is long plays of every single Sonic game, or at least most of them. So look forward to that if that's your thing, I guess. Um, feel free to check out the channel for more Sonic games. I have quite a few of them up already, with many more coming. And, uh, yeah, that's more or less it. We got pretty much through everything that there is to offer here. Um, an interesting piece of Sonic history. Probably worth checking out for yourself. Uh, otherwise, let's see, I don't think there's really even anything that we can look at here in the sound test. So, yeah, otherwise, hopefully I'll see you uh, in the future for some other content. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.